In this video, we'll extend the um, concept of expected value or the mean uh, of um, random variable uh, to um, expected value of conditional distribution. Because if we have, we, we remember that using uh, a distribution and event defined by the random variables, we have been able to define uh, conditional distributions. So um, uh, conditional expectation uh, is nothing than uh, using the same extension we had. So basically here we define the conditional mean of a random variable assuming an event uh, just uh, the, the definition is that instead of using um, the distribution of x, we use the conditional distribution of x. So it's a very uh, simple concept. But we need to apply it and be able to apply it to uh, practical examples, solve problems, solve problems, and so on. Uh, for discrete type random variables, uh, we could uh, we use a similar extension. So the only difference is that here we have an additional uh, conditions. So if we can calculate the conditional distribution, then we need to calculate this integral or this summation. This is for discrete type random variables, but this, this the first one applies to any distribution. So uh, let us have one uh, example. Suppose that event M just be an interval. So in that case, you remember that we define the conditional distribution of X given the event that X is in this interval is defined by that. So basically, uh, you remember that if you have a distribution, this is distribution of, let's say, X. Uh, this is F X of X. And if I have an interval of, let's say, A and B, the distribution of uh, Y, uh, distribution of X, F of X given M, is going to be uh, zero uh, outside of this interval. So you get zero here and zero here. And in this interval, you get the same shape, but scaled by this uh, property. So uh, the, this is going to be the distribution of uh, um, the conditional distribution, non-zero and then zero. So the expected value uh, of the new distribution should be somewhere between um, A and B. So expected value of X, given the event M, which is X between, let's say, A and B, uh, before any integral, I expect it to be a number itself between A and uh, B. So um, obviously, if I put this distribution in, in, into my definition, and this is constant comes out of the integral, I get this, uh, this expression. 